Hai, Assalamualaikum Hai semua Okay, we're gonna go live really soon Assalamualaikum Hi, weird connection happening I hope you guys, can you, can you just open the door and see? Hear me okay? Just checking Is the sound okay with everyone? Hello? How's the sound, everyone? I just want to check before we start. Is the sound okay or is it like... Uh, kita? Just checking. Okay, Aisha, everyone's saying it's okay. Hazik Rahim to poor connection. So I'm like, what? Why? Connection is slow. Okay, Nina. Hmm, this got me thinking. Wonder if I should stick to Wi-Fi or just go 4G. What does everyone think before we start? Because I don't want you guys to be frustrated. Kind of like halfway the tegantung, kan? So sounds okay, visuals not. Okay, suggestions. Should I get out of Wi-Fi or should I stick? Guys, I'm just going to go out now. I'm Wi-Fi. Uh, draw me back, okay? Okay, how am I doing now? Because I'm on Wi-Fi. Eh, I'm on 4G. Is it better? Okay tak sekarang? Dia punya connection. Better tak? Just want to know if you guys can hear me. Sebab kalau tak dia macam frustrating. I know Wi-Fi would be much be it's better kan? Uh, so okay I'm going to stick to this. If if there's any problems hopefully I'll just go back to Wi-Fi. Just let me know. Because I'm in the room and dia macam jauh sikit I think. No, no one can hear me. That's really weird. Elaine you can't hear me. <laughs> Nampak cantik. Bukan pasal muka. Takut you all tak dengar. You all tak, tak boleh ni. All good. Alright. So Elaine, I'm going to add you. Uh, but for some reason, Elaine can't hear me. That's really weird. But everyone else can hear me kan? So boleh dengar? So boleh dengar kan? Alright. Hazik said all clear. Semua clear dah. Muka jelas, suara jelas. Alhamdulillah. So it's just Elaine then. Because I got to wait for my trainer. Elaine is from AOL Pilates. Um, she set this up. It's a cafe with her sister and her siblings, and they teach Pilates and all. So, ani uh, memanguna 4G. David Andrew Tanya. So I've got my mat. I hope you guys have a mat. You just need a mat, and hopefully you've got a resistance band. So do you, okay. Got you, Elaine. You just need a resistance band like this ataupun yang macam ni. All right, and then maybe some light weights. So, you know, it's a Ramadan workout. Hello. Hard for. Hi, Lynn. I finally can hear you. How are you? You look good. I look good. Alhamdulillah. Yep. It's good lighting too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. how's, All right. how's life? How are you, Lynn? Say, see you. Okay, this is so Lynn. Okay. This is my, my trainer. She's um, very young, but she's very talented. And she has been training me with Pilates. Now, obviously, it's harder for Elaine to, to teach me here like this but we're going to do our best can you link because we just want to share yep. with everybody but she's the professional yeah. she's the pilates instructor so i'm going to follow elaine and then hopefully you guys can follow what i do so this is like a a relay work <laughs> yeah and sarma has been really good she has been doing pilates for more than 10 years right yeah just 10 years this year actually yeah so, amazing if I, didn't do pilates, I would be like yeah, but uh, you're active as well. You're into karate and yeah. a lot of... You're basically fit. Yeah, and so are you. So, I mean, you might want to intro yourself, Elaine, just your qualifications because my followers and people that don't know you will be wondering, siap pu, didn't he? <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm Elaine. Um, I actually graduated from Master in Sports Science. So uh, uh, sports is always, always my passion. And um, I'm now a fully certified uh, Pilates instructor. So I can teach all the equipments. But right now, we can't do that yet because of MCO. So we can do mat Pilates with Sarima. And uh, since my thing is more athletic, me and Sarima actually click very well in that sense. Yeah, yeah she because she's very athletic. Yeah. Oh, but come on, she is strong. She'd be like, no, uh, Elaine, maybe can I add more? Maybe can no, I do I'm this more? No, I'm just controlling macho. I'm just controlling macho to appear strong in front of you. Bila balik rumah macam... <laughs> so um, basically, we realize, we reckon that many people do not actually work on the back muscles, the butt, uh, the hamstring, the wings part, the bra fat. 
you know, and they are rounding their shoulders. So that's why uh, Sarima suggested, hey, why not we do something at the back, for the back? Yeah, because yeah. last so that's week right. ago, I think we did a workout for the arms and um, thighs. Yep. Can you so today... Yeah, and some um, core. Yeah, and then somebody asked, would it work Q&A later? That? So we'll take some time for that, Lahren. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. So how many reps are we going to do okay. per exercise, Elaine? Okay, so your uh, exercise band is the heavier one. So 8 to 10 would be great, I think, because it's for okay. uh, to build up muscle strength. All right? Okay. So mine is uh, the green one. We can do like 10, 12 times. But let's, okay. uh, can we put it at 10 per, okay. uh, per set? Five, 10. And everyone watching can do 10 or increase themselves again. Yep, you okay. can. So with yeah. the band uh, for the exercises later, it will give you more feedback. Yes, okay. and she had that band as well. That's really good uh, because you have the handle. So you can yeah. do arms work very easily. Yeah, yeah because to hold the strap sometimes is a bit tough. This band yeah. is easier than this one because your knee, your breast and not pegang kan macam sakit gila your yeah. wrist. And then another thing about the wrist that, I mean, I can just give a tip lah, is you know, when you're yeah. pulling, don't do this and don't yes. do that and don't do this. Because they are kind of suck it down. Like, yeah. Like, oh, but for normal people like us, it hurts. So always yep. try and keep it like this. And yeah. if you can, just wrap it. Can Elaine? You, yeah, you were, it's you even better. Know, but keep it straight. Because yep. the moment you do this, adoy, or you yeah, do this. You're going to hurt your wrist. Oh my goodness, the pain. So then yeah. you will stretch because you need too much and then uh -huh. it's longer. So, that's so the wrist is, yeah. Because resistance band, much in you can order online yep. or you can go to, I think, Sports Direct, like Bangsa Village 3 has. Yeah, it's a nice skit because it keeps your arms like this. Yes. Other than this, can? Yeah. See, you're smart. She's used to, I mean, uh, she smart. used to take some courses. From and uh, we learned. Yeah. You so almost became an instructor anyways. I almost did. But will we need any of these today? Maybe? Uh, so, uh, well, not really much of that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Yeah. Okay. But but done. yeah, whoever have whoever have that, we can actually use that as well. If you don't have a band. Okay. So now yeah. I just want to check with you. I mean, I'm in Mangini Stop Malula, so I'm just gonna ask straight. You know, <laughs> like us ladies, right? We always get you know that fat here. Yep. It's like, what is that? Guys, I mean, guys, like... guys don't get that. Guys get it. I notice guys get it like here, again. Okay? But ladies get it here. You got you girls know what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. Bra you fat. Ah, here. Look And you're like, yeah. what is that? We have Why boobs. Do I have extra boobs. You know what I mean? So <laughs> we have boobs, guys. Yeah, so we're gonna work on that, right? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So, so this is your back, but where's your lats? Here, right, Elaine? Oh that is huge. That is huge. Okay. That's a yeah, so it's like the whole thing. The whole thing is lats. Yeah, we have a whole thing here called, la called lats. Okay. Latissimus dorsi or dorsi. Okay. And we're going to work on yep. those today as well. Yeah, we're going to work on that. So uh, if you work on a tiang or something, we can also... I mean, I just created one exercise for that. Okay, I don't have a tiang, but like everyone else at home, <laughs> you have a bed can. So the bed, yeah. when we see yeah. khaki of the bed, we can use this, right? Yep. Yeah, you can use this for a lot of things as well. Okay, so that one standby lah. Standby tiang apa kaki katil. That, that's <laughs> more for, uh, yeah, from the bottom up, you know, the resistance from the bottom up. So, but for lead, we want the resistance from the top to bottom because you want to work on the muscle. You see I the muscle have, there? If I don't have anything from top, but we can do seated lats then? Don't worry, I, I actually found some ways already for that. All right, yeah. so shall we start? Okay, uh, maybe we'll straight away go for a cat stretch. Okay, so can I follow you? Yep. So I hope you can hear me. If you can't, just let me know. You can face yeah. this way we'll do, we'll on do four points. Point. Okay. On four point. Yeah. So this is a warm up? Yeah, this is a warm up for your spine to move. And for okay. the muscle to get some, yeah, relaxation, activation. Stay there, breathe in, breathe out, you scoop the tailbone, you start rounding the spine. Yep. Come into a cat position. 
and then we I release from the tail book. I don't know why they call it cat because I've never seen a cat do this. I've seen a cat like. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Maybe I will just give you the cueing first and you'll do that and then I'll go demo at the same time. Okay, so from the tailbone, you scoop. Yeah, tuck the tailbone in. You use your six packs and your oblique muscle and then you round the spine. That's it's it. Back. Now release. Yeah. You... One pack. Whenever we are rounding the spine like that, we are using our six packs, actually. Yeah. So you want to feel like squeezing a big ball in between your tummy area. And then scoop again from the tailbone. Yes. So really engage it. Don't waste your exercise. And then release from the tailbone. Nice. Last five to go. One. I'll do together. Relax. And two. Relax. Three. Relax. Four. Relax. I've seen, I've seen a cat vomit like this, like cats like, uh, uh. Come on, they can do anything, you know? They are so flexible. Come on, whoever can become a cat, you're gonna, whew. Okay, I'm this done. so sexy. Yeah, so we are done with that. So we will take the band right now. And then just put it at the back, at your meat back, close to your bra line. So we're going to hold like this, okay? Come to four point again, tuck your toes in, stay here. Okay, and from here, you only lift your knees off slightly and return. So if you want to have more feedback, you can hold higher, put it lower, okay? So okay. ready, we're going to go for 10 times, three sets. Okay. Go one, return, two, this is a very good exercise to train the back muscles. Three and four. I feel like it's working my back, it's working my abs. Five. Yeah. And at six. Yeah, when you're in this position, you have no choice to work on your back muscles, actually. And go. Oh. Yeah, nine and ten. And relax. Rest for a bit, everyone. It's Ramadan. Don't stress yourself. Okay. okay. Second set. Everyone, Same. let's do together. Same thing. Okay, I'll come closer. I, can, I hope you can hear my voice. Yeah, we can hear everything clear. Don't worry. Perfect. Now, second set. So okay. maintain attention and lift your knees off. Even without the band, you can do this. But with the band, uh, it will give you more feedback. Three, four. You breathe in and out as you do the exercise. Five, six. Maintain all the joints at 90 degrees. Eight, nine, set, relax. Yep. So people do not know when you're in this position, you're already working on the back muscles. Is it? Yeah. yeah, but not too much yet. Okay? Right. Okay. One more step. These band things. Nina's asking, where do we find these bands? Uh, we, we, I mean, I still have a few. I can okay. share with you later. Okay. Maybe AOL Pilates can just type it there. AOL Pilates has some bands. If you guys want to order yeah. AOL Pilates, that's Elaine's company. Yeah. Done. So we'll get you a few. Okay, now the last set. Okay. Ready? And lift your knees up and down. Two, down. Three, down. Four, Breathe. Five, six, Woo. seven, almost there. Eight, Woo. nine, ten. Woo! It hurt Great. Yes. Um, okay. you do. You will not feel too much of the wings if your wings are quite strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. But definitely, you will feel your core. Okay. okay. Now the next one, you're gonna put your foot in here. So this is for the glute area. Okay. We hardly use the bum, right? When we walk, we don't walk properly. A lot of people use that flexor. So we don't want to use the flexor too much today. Okay. But the extensor. Okay? So after putting this in, yeah? Hold it. Yeah. We can hold this way. Can we come to kneeling again? 
You yep. hold it with two hands. Tighten your good. And from there, reach to the back. Okay, we'll do bed and stretch first. One. Two. Yeah. Not too high that you use the upper lower back. Yeah. Okay. And four, squeeze your butt. Five. And six. Seven. Yeah. So your your blue band actually gives you more resistance. That yeah, is quite painful. Rest. Okay. Second set soon. Okay. Your movement is amazing. Just look at Sari Ma. She's like super good. The movement is like super great. Good work, Jilin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Second set. Reach. Yeah. Bend and stretch. Two. Three, Not nice. Five. Because Four. I don't need to do it like this. I don't need to go up that high. Uh, no, because uh, if you go too high, sometimes you, you use your lower back already. So oh. for this exercise, you want to only focus on the butt. My butt. Yeah. And ah. one more. You rest for a bit. Ah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's why rest in between sets um, is actually very important to get your muscle uh, prepared for the next one. Okay. Yeah, because we're not really focusing on endurance yet. Okay? More like okay. strength toning. Okay. A more set. Ready. One. Whoa, three sets, huh? Yeah, three sets. I can't do it. I can't do it. Just do it. So squeeze your butt. I can't do it. Whoa, the burn on the butt. The burn on the butt. Yes. And ten. Great. All right. Bend and stretch is easier for the butt. Next one, you have to stretch out your leg. Like this. So from here, lift up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Like pulses. Yeah. So you have to constantly push your leg away. Otherwise, you just push back forward. The major aim is not to use the hip flexor. Not to use the lower back, but just the back. Okay, ready? Okay. Reach up and pulse. Two, ah. three, four. Let's go for 30 straight away. Ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last ten, go one, two, three, four, one, six, seven, eight, nine, and done. Woo! Oh, it's right here. Right here. Yep. All right. Too many people walk like that, you know, like they walk like that. So they use the hip flexor too much, not the butt. So the proper way of working is this. You need to have this. Yeah, right. the butt. Okay? okay, now let's change side. Maybe okay. I should turn this way. Okay, just make sure you wrap your toes in. And hold with two hands. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yep. Now let's go for the first set. Reach up. Two. Three. Kick. Yeah. Yes. Five. Well done. Seven. Seven. Ooh. Eight. Nine. Yes, that glute. Work on the glute. Ooh. And Ooh. Kind of back, right? Like, don't use your back. Don't, like, don't, like, kick it like this. Yeah. Just that wooly much a night. Yeah. Just feel like you're wearing a block. Not a block. You're, like, a block. Wearing a corset. Girdle, you are stable. You don't arch, you don't rock the whole body. Okay. All right. Now, pass the to uh, to be in this, like this stable. This very compromising during Ramadan. I just thought you should know, but never mind. Just people think good thoughts, okay? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, this okay. is for back muscles. I got no choice. <laughs> okay. Ready? Three already. Come on. Four. Five. Yeah. Seven. Yep, come eight, on, almost there. Nine. Yeah. I am sure you're feeling your ass. That's very important muscle to walk and things like that. Okay? <laughs> yep, our butt. But people I actually know. overlook the butt work. Yeah, let's go for another set. Two, yeah. Three, Hi, Nita. Four, My friend is there. Who's that? Yes, seven. Come on, stabilize yourself. Ten. Yes. 
Okay, the most important thing is to make sure your whole body is stable. If it's not stable, you're gonna use other muscles, you're gonna hold your wrist. Okay. Especially, and shoulders. Okay, now let's go for the pauses. This one, kalau nak punggung cantik, memang ni je lah caranya. Memang ni lah. Okay, for guys, also. Okay. Yep. Reach. And oh, pause. pause One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last hand on one. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh my God. Ooh. High five, guys. <laughs> All right. So those are some back muscles that we can work on. Now, we want to move on top the upper back with some legs and arms. I'm gonna show you guys first. Uh, this will be at the back again. Right? Okay, you guys gotta right turn back. Follow Elaine, yeah? AOL Pilates. Thank you guys. So for those who are having back issues, can you put a cushion, tower or something below here? Okay, underneath here. So stabilize your legs. You can bend a bit if you want to. Okay, otherwise stay. Inhale. Just your upper back lifted. Open up your arms. Reach it. Okay. Just like that. Okay. We call that a breast. Can we see your arms Sorry? again, Elaine? Can we see the arms oh, again? From this view. Okay. It's this way. Like an Just your upper back. Sorry? Yeah. Um, if you want to lift your legs up, that's great as well. Is this right? Yes. So remember, we are focusing on the upper back, arms, wings, bicep, tricep, because you stretch out and bend. Uh, yeah. When you return, you can bend your elbows a bit. Good. So when you reach your legs up, that's to use your butt. So throughout the exercise, there's no lower back kicking in. Okay. Uh Nice. Yeah. It's like a Superman flying. We call that breaststroke. Reach. Yeah. Reach. Nice. So as you see, Sarima has a very good control. She doesn't shake the whole body as she uh, does the exercise. That's because she works on her core. It's not easy. Some people will just shake. Yeah. This is nice. Last five. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Last four. Someone pull. Pull look <laughs> Upper yeah, back. and rest. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Very great. So we have just uh, one more. So this is actually very good to work on your back muscles. If you oh, realize yeah. people are having six packs, you know, but sometimes they have bra fat and then the butt is not toned. Yeah, or that's hunching. because they don't. Sorry? Or hunching. Yes, hunching a lot. You can see like a lot. Okay. Yeah. One more set to go. 15 times, and oh. two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, four, like a superman, and two, and one, relax, nice. <laughs> So coming to your shell stretch, after we arch our back, we round from the head to tail. So remember, shell stretch is not like child pose. You need to uh, give a hollow space here between your tummy and your body, your head. Okay? Okay, got it. Then you come up from the yep. tail. Yep. So that was breaststroke, or I call that Superman sometimes. The next one is swan. Swan will go all the way down to the lower back, okay? okay. For those who do not have very good spine, flexible spine, try not to go that high, okay? okay. Always use your hands to support. For those okay. who are flexible like Sarima, uh, use your back muscles and the butt muscle. This time you open your legs wider. <laughs> open your legs wider. Okay, last thing, Asini, like Asini, here, Somebody you, uh, said from here, push, push yourself up. up. <laughs> mission Impossible, okay. y'all. Okay, all right. Who is that? It's a Mission Impossible. Hello? 
watch the movie? It's minus the Nike lah. Okay, all right, got it. <laughs> okay, but seriously, for those who are having bigger assets in front, it's going to be tougher for them because gravity will keep pulling you down. So your okay. back has to work harder to get up. Okay, okay, open your legs, turn your feet out. Yes. Okay. Squeeze your butt, tighten your core, push yourself Breathing. up. Breathe in and out. Yes. Then you're going to go back down. Inhale. Squeeze the grip, push a bit towards your hands, palms. Yeah. For those who are not that flexible, please don't go that high. Three. Return. Squeezing the butt. Squeezing the butt. Yeah, all the time. Last. Back up. Back up to the side. Not like this. Like this. Yeah, don't lift your legs up. So I plant your feet down, touching your butt and core. You want to feel super stable and work just the upper part. Yep. Should we, and rest. Can we swing back and forth in the swan? We can swing back and forth, right? Like. That's exactly what I wanted to do the next. <laughs> oh. So this is called a swan dive. So you want to dive in and out, but maintain the shape. So look at Sarima. She's maintaining the shape. She's not dropping. So if you're set, uh, if you are confident, you're strong. You can lift your arms up a little bit as well as you go down. Yes, look at that. Perfect. It's so mission dying, impossible. Sorry? It's mission impossible. Yes. Okay, up, reach. You can move, reach your arms forward as well. Forward. Wow, maintain the hard. shape. Yeah, maintain the shape. Last three. This is quite tough already. For those who are new, don't do this yet. And rest. Okay? Close your legs. Come back to your shell stretch. Yeah, feel the uh, back being stretched, being open because you have been arching that already. And then you're going to come up for the table. Okay? All right. So we want to work on the lat right now. How do we do that? So we're going to come to our standing. Are oh, we going to stand now? Okay. Yeah. So it's tough, right? Sometimes you do not have uh, something to hook on, you know, to get the resistance from the top. So what I actually created was this. You hold like this, one arm here. Then from here you pull. You're working on the wing. So one arm up, pulling, holding it. And yep. pull down, not up. Yeah. So remember pulling downward. Do this. You can pulling like pulling. Yeah. Can you can stand. You can squat. You can. Well, but not really going sideways, but going okay. downward this way. Yeah. So you pull from here. Go higher. Can you hold higher at the shoulder level? Then yep. you pull. Go higher. And pull. Yes. So if you need more resistance, hold higher. And pull. So think about your wings. This flat. Pull. Pull. Yeah. So make sure your body is straight. Last five. It's, like, it's a bit like if you're rowing to the side like this, guy. Like rowing. A yeah. Bit. Well, it depends. If you have tightness on the shoulder, maybe you can't go straight. You can open a bit and you press down. About 45 degrees down. Okay? But for those who have... Um, Quite flexible shoulder joint. This part is quite flexible, not tight. You can actually pull downward. Okay. Yeah, last two, last one. Relax. So see, with the band, it's easy. But if you do not have a band, you can get like little dumbbells like Sarima just now. Just hold it up and pull down. Pull up and pull down. Yeah. So, but when you go up, you're already working on the deltoid. When you come down, you work on the wings. All right, just like that. So you should be feeling the muscle, okay? Nice. Okay, change side. So okay. one arm, hold it at the top. Another one from the shoulder, pull it down. Breathe in and out, two. So this time, you have to really resist that. Three, four, otherwise you do this, you know, five. And six, open your wing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Just five more. Four, three. Bye bye, bra fat, but viral. 
and what and relax. See, even though we don't have a tiang, we can always think of new ways of or doing the exercise, right? Yeah. Next one, you will hold from the back, right? And from here, reach. And the other side. We can do one side first. So reach, bend, reach, bend, okay? This is very good to open up the chest and work on the back. Yeah, you got it right, okay? For those who need more resistance, bring your hands closer and reach. Bend, reach, bend, reach. Got it yeah. straight, right? Like straight. Yes, yeah, straight back. And one more. Relax. I'm already sweating. Change side if you want to right now. Okay, ready? And reach. Bend, stretch. So we always have one side more dominant than the other. Reach. Reach. Open up your chest. Nice. Good job. Everyone, are you guys following? Good. If you don't have a band, the band, go solo. If you don't have you are. you can just do with the uh, dumbbell as well. Just open. But of course, with the band, it's different. So with the band, you tend to move more to the back and work on the back more. If okay? Dumbbell, Otherwise, you can, yeah, you can always do this. But focus more on the back part. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys already feel the back. But I feel like I'm gonna work out, if I'm gonna work out back, I need to be like in this position to work out my back. Because if I'm standing yeah. upright, I feel my traps, my upper neck. Yeah, so for those who are having issues with the traps and you can't uh, work on the muscle uh, in a proper alignment, do like what Sarma is doing, just do this. All right? And then if you wanna work on the meat back, you can pull. So if you have a chair, Uh, yeah, that's a good one for me back. And if you have a chair or something, you can work on this as well. Pull and just reach. Where you are you in this? Where, where you're like oh, this? Yeah. Okay, oh. like this. Pull. Cool. I'm too close. Now I can see it. Oh, yeah. I Why do I do on the chair? Because, we, yeah, you can do on the floor as well. But with the chair, you get a very good angle. Yes. So, cool. Cool. So, remember, you're working on the meat back here. So, medius and medius below. Medial trap. Cool. Cool. I'm putting my knee on it. Okay. As long as you're, you're if this is stable. Yeah. So in this position, you can also do a tricep, right? So hold further, reach. reach. Oh my God. Okay. Reach. Yeah. Yes. So I if you don't have a chair, you can do like what Sarima is doing. Yeah. Two, one. Relax, change side. Okay, is it caught that? Reach, 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 reach me back, reach, reach to the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And okay. then tricep. Yeah, you can do mid back first and tricep. Yeah. yeah. So, wrist or not arching? Both wrist, table. Tricep. Tricep. Just now. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Yep. So basically my part uh, for the back, it's done. Okay. So sorry, mom wants to share something with us as well? Like your workout routine a bit? Well, I can like- People would want to know though. What I generally do, like at home, like, you know, for yeah. the arms and stuff. Like, I find the bed, so I'm just going to show you guys what I do, like, DIY workout, okay? So, you see the bed? Yeah. I'll teach you guys if you don't have a bed. So, Elaine, yeah. work the back as well. I do this. Perfect. Yeah. Besides. But I don't know how high I should go. 
Should I go very high or just to here? If you go very high, that's for your uh, posterior deltoid as well. Which is the arm. So if you go higher, it's more work on the back. Yes. Hey, yeah. Oh. He's so smart though. So if you really don't have that, don't worry. Press on it, on the floor. You can do a similar thing. Yeah. Yeah, and you can do a similar thing. So, yeah, she's smart. So you can do bicep here. Yes. That's what I do. Yeah. Well done. I just want to add extra. I do squats as well. Yep. Perfect. So guys, different angles will give you different uh, challenge for the muscles. So yeah. like very much was, yeah, this angle is amazing. Wow. Yep. That's to open up the front as well. Oh, we are always rounding. This exercise is perfect actually. You can twist. Well, use the upper, opposite side. Yeah. This works the arm, yeah. the fat on the top of the arms. Yes. <laughs> you are actually very creative though. Really? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and then, Elaine, another one I tried to do, which I wanted to ask you, which is for the side fat. How you twist, yeah. That's, that's really good. So you fix the pelvis, work on the spine, and then you twist. Yeah, if you hold, only have the band, you can hold by one side and pull. Yeah, just like that. So breathing in and out will help you to work on the muscle uh, more efficiently. Especially breathe out this way, it will tighten your core, support your spine. Right, well no, done! Shoulder. If you lift it, yeah. you're not using it. Yes, so maintain everything stable. Told you she was supposed to be a <laughs> instructor, but she's still busy. Another one I do is this. Oh yes, this is, oh no, this is very tough for many people because usually we don't even have uh, strength. At the deltoid, and you're gonna reach so high up. Yeah. See, my angle and her angle is totally different. If it's from here, it will become like nicer. See? Yeah. But now it's from the bottom, so it will not be as nice as yours. And then I also do this. Yes. So that's for triceps. Oh, that's like I told you, right? It's very different if you have the angle from that side as compared from the, to from this side. For this exercise, it's a bit tougher though, if you're not in that angle. Yeah. And then, I'm gonna ask you, Elaine, what can I do for my chest here? Do I do it this way oh, or do it this way? You can do it this way. You can do it this way. Yeah, and then you can make circles now. But more, more work of the chest if you do this. Yeah. Okay. You know, like so ballet dancer, the second position, yeah. But for those who are not so strong yet, you can always do like the circle, you can bend your elbows, reach. So and don't do That's what I do at right home. Sometimes I use this. No wonder you're so fit. <laughs> this is a killer. Ah! Yes. Even like this, it's a killer. Yep. So if uh, if you have the angle, that would be great. If you don't, like I said, you can just always bend your knee and use the opposite one. Okay. I can do it. This like this. Yep. Because you get the angle, right? So if you are too straight, it's just a bit tough. Yeah. So those are some of the things that I do. Uh, a and lot. <laughs> Not bad. Um, that's the reason why you have been uh, fit, though, after pregnancy. You got back in shape, like, so fast. You're determined. Well, it takes a lot of work and also cardio and not eating a lot of sugar. But I think we need to do yes. a warm now, a stretch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is for the deltoid. Pull. Any questions yeah. you can ask now? Yeah. We can also share with people. They all want to know where, where to get the band. 
<laughs> yeah, so uh, we, you could get it from AOL Pilates. Uh, we will try to check you out from here and then I'll get the, uh, our manager. Stretch the front part. This is the chest part. And then because we are on four point kneeling a lot, so what Sarma is doing is to stretch our forearm here. Yes. Here. So I'm sure many people want to know uh, how, how you can get back in shape so quick after your uh, pregnancy. Determine, you know, and work out. How often do you work out? Well, I've worked out 55 days straight so far. <laughs> throughout the MCO, throughout the PKP. You just have to do it, even though it's Ramadan. You just got to do it. But, you know, the timing is really important. So, like, after I gave birth, I did. And then um, as soon as Pantang finished, I just started walking in the house. So, like, watching TV, okay. Netflix, you just, I just started walking around the sitting room. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but that's the only way. Just walking and around the dining table, just getting the steps and getting the blood flow again. And then I graduated from the sitting room to downstairs where there's, like, an open area or a garden. So then I just started walking there 10 minutes. Then the next day, 12 minutes. Then the next day, 15 minutes. So we just continue yes. walking. Walking is really good, I think, for fat burning and just for stamina building. And it then, is. That's when I started this. About two months after giving birth, I started doing this. My husband uses this too. Sometimes at the gym, again, so if you travel yep. wherever you go, you don't always have access to weights. So this is the best thing to have, simpan dalam bag. Because dalam bilik, hotel, boleh guna, yes. wherever you are. Handy. You, you know what I mean? So then I started using the band. So core work first, you know, stomach exercises. You know, I started off with like really basic stuff that you taught me in Pilates. You know, like the lower lift. Yes. Then I started with the leg tapping for the lower abs. Very slow. Yeah. And then I, then I graduated to things like very slow you know? then i graduated to doing the hundreds yes and then after doing the hundreds i graduated to doing the hundreds with legs straight like this so within so, two months to three months it gradually got stronger yes um because when you came back to me after your pregnancy after your pantang and everything i don't uh, i don't see a lot of uh, issue with the separation of your apps it's pretty yeah. uh yeah, it's pretty good. And you got back in, um, uh, like, we got back to quite harder workout already so yeah. fast. But by the way, I mean, people love your teeth, white teeth. Oh, my teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, my teeth. I mean, I didn't do anything to them. They're like my real teeth, but I got a gap, which I'm not quite happy about. But, but that's what <laughs> people that's like your it. white teeth. Do you have any? Um, Mine's a gap. <laughs> but why though? Why is your teeth so white? Tatao. Oh, okay. I just keep my teeth clean. <laughs> and people actually look at your teeth so good. <laughs> no, yeah. because my teeth have always been since I was young. Honestly, I was told by a doctor, and this is no lie, as Ramadan, I wouldn't lie, that I have too much fluoride. Can you imagine? But can't see. It's I don't know how that, what, what that does, but he says it affects your teeth. So, and it can make them. So I'm like, all right, no need for teeth whitening. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, oh, there are people I don't... asking us to save this. Okay, save we will this save this, definitely. Um, no other questions. I mean, people are just happy with that. But we can do another one of these maybe after Raya. Elaine, yep. Maybe a full body workout. Um, yes. Together, it's like from top to toe. Like, yes. you know, everything. But today, my back is like, whoa. But now, is there any final stretches I can do for the back, Elaine? So yeah, okay. Uh, this will be the best. Uh, roll down is always the best. So yeah. you just have to stand straight. You have to stand up and then you roll down. Okay. Yeah. So you feel the back open. And you can, you can, now can you hold your arms, the four arms of each other and then pull. Pull yeah. down. Yes, and round and pull your arms away from each other. And you can twist your body left to left and right, to the left and to the right. 
I would suggest working out during Ramadan closer to Buka time so that you guys can like rehydrate and drink water closer to it. You know what I mean? Otherwise, no water. Sure. Dehydration is no fun. Especially yeah. when you're working. Blah, blah, hi, again. Yeah. So close okay. to your Buka, it's great. All Good right. job. So, yeah. If you have any questions, you can drop Aksarima or me or AOL Pilates and then we would, we would love to like share with you guys. Thank you, right. Sarima. Thanks, AOL Pilates. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, hope it helps, you know, some tips there, you know, for everyone. And don't forget to stretch your neck. That's another thing. Yeah. Just wanted to ask well. that. Sometimes yeah. your neck hurts, you know, so don't forget to do the neck stretches, 20 seconds on each side because yeah. after using the bands, sometimes it's tight. Yes, especially when you use the bands, you use your arms. Yeah. Right, just yeah. stretch it a bit. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Cool, guys. See you again. Selamat berbuka. And selamat hari raya yeah. to everyone. Okay? Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care. Bye. Love. Bye.